Welcome to our presentation. We'll be covering applying for the 2425 Academic Year Cobell Scholarship Opportunities. The Cobell Scholarship is administered by Indigenous Education Incorporated, or IEI. You can always visit cobellscholar.org for more information and view the latest Cobell Scholarship updates. I'm Gabriel Bell, Director of Outreach for the Cobell Scholarship Program, and I joined the IEI team in early 2022. I'm humbled to share this time with you, and I hope this information is helpful. I'm a member of the Cheyenne Arapaho tribes based in Oklahoma and have lived in Albuquerque, New Mexico since 2010. Thank you so much for joining us today. So our office is located in Albuquerque, New Mexico, home of the Isleta and Sandia Pueblos. And in this land acknowledgement, we would also like to recognize the indigenous peoples and their land located wherever you may be viewing this presentation. The IEI mission drives the work that we do every day. And it is an honor for us to support Native College scholars toward their success in higher education. We thank all who share in the same calling, and to all applicants, thank you for letting us join in your journey. It was a late Eloise Cobell who made the Cobell Scholarship come to be. It was through her unwavering leadership as a lead plaintiff of a 15-year class action lawsuit that resulted in a $3.4 billion settlement against the federal government for its historical mismanagement of Indian lands. As part of the settlement, the Cobell Scholarship was created, and Eloise Cobell's legacy lives on. Okay, now what do you need to know to apply for a Cobell Scholarship opportunity? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's get into it. Eligibility for the Cobell Scholarship includes completing a competitive application that highlights achievements, community engagement, leadership experience, and potential, all of which will be expressed in responses to application questions. Applicants must be enrolled full-time and be a degree-seeking student at a nonprofit post-secondary institution during the first semester or term of receiving a Cobell Scholarship Award. The process includes submitting a non-renewable application and referral from a recommender chosen by the applicant. What does non-renewable mean? It means that an applicant who is selected one year must apply again in any following years. Selection as a finalist for the Cobell Scholarship Opportunity happens after completed applications are reviewed twice by qualified individuals. Also, only those who are verified to be an enrolled member of a U.S. federally recognized tribe will be considered. II does not make offers to descendants at this time. And finally, to be awarded, a completed FAFSA must be on file at your institution to verify an unmet need or non-receipt of federal education funds. Now then, what Cobell Scholarship opportunities are available? Take a look. The Vocational Scholarship offers first-time awards of up to $5,000 per academic year and up to $6,000 for continuing scholars. It is a year-round application beginning May 1 for scholars beginning programs in June. The Undergraduate Scholarship offers first-time awards up to $5,000 per academic year and up to $8,000 for continuing scholars. That's pretty good. The application is open from December 15 to March 31. Scholars renew each term within the academic year. And what about for the summer? A summer scholarship for undergraduate and graduate scholars is available and provides awards of up to $2,500 for the summer term with an application open from February 15 to May 4th. Just take a moment to let this information sink in. And remember, these application dates remain the same each year. Do not miss out. Here are some scholarship opportunities specific to the graduate level. The Cobalt Graduate Scholarship offers awards up to $12,500 per academic year with an application cycle that runs December 15 to March 31. Cobalt Fellowships include first, Graduate Summer Research Fellowship, which offers a stipend of up to $5,000 plus additional supports for graduate scholar summer research. Second, the all-new Eloise Cobell Writing Year Fellowship offers a stipend of up to $30,000 plus additional supports for doctoral scholars completing a dissertation writing year. Both fellowships open September 1 and close January 10. Now that you know about what opportunities are available with the COBOL Scholarship Program, don't forget to write down those important dates and funding amounts. Not only for yourself, but remember to share with others who may be interested. 
Let me introduce OASIS, or the Online Application and Scholarship Information System. OASIS is the platform used to house all applicant information and applications. So the following five steps outline each phase from applicant to finalist to scholar. And we'll talk about this. This will help knowing what to expect, and we hope that it clarifies the process. So let's start with step one, the applicant profile. The profile allows the applicant to provide basic information like name, tribe, email address, phone number, and other contact info. The Cobell Scholarship team will use the profile information to contact applicants as they progress from applicant to scholar. So to be sure to use accurate information like a good email address, one that's not a high school email, for example, as those sometimes expire after graduation. How can we email somebody with an email that is no longer working? This might cause important communication about an application to go undelivered. The same goes for phone numbers. Be sure to use good working phone numbers so we can call you if needed. The COBOL Scholarship team can always update profile information if needed. Just let us know. Once the profile is completed, step one is done. But this is just the first step. Sometimes applicants think that by completing the profile, they've submitted an application, but they have not. Don't make this mistake. To successfully submit an application, continue to the next steps. Step two is the eligibility form. In OASIS, the eligibility form gathers information like GPA, degree level, area of discipline, and year in school. Completed eligibility forms will allow the system to automatically match applicants to eligible scholarship opportunity applications based on the information provided. These match applications will now be available to access in OASIS. On to step three, opportunity applications. In this step, applicants may begin their eligible applications and reference referrals may be submitted. Once a scholarship opportunity application is submitted, the applicant must also choose someone to serve as a reference to submit a referral on the applicant's behalf. To successfully complete this step, both an opportunity application and a referral must be submitted before the post deadlines. Unfortunately, some forget to have a reference submit a referral and this leaves the step incomplete and the applicant will not be considered for selection as a finalist. So be sure to select a reference early and give them plenty of time to submit a quality referral for you. And you'll be all set. Once step three is done, all completed applications will be reviewed for selection. Step four, acceptance of offer. Those that are selected will receive a finalist offer. Applicants who accept the offer are now considered finalists and will be asked to upload in OASIS a transcript of the most recently completed academic term and a course enrollment for the upcoming term. Cobell staff will also assist finalists by working with institutions to verify a financial needs analysis as well as verifying tribal enrollment with the finalist tribal enrollment offices. And once all finalist items are in place, the finalists now become Cobell Scholars. Cobell Scholarship Awards will then be processed and sent to the Scholars Institution. And finally, Step 5. After scholars have completed the fall term, they will complete a renewal process to receive funding for the next academic term, whether that be a spring semester or winter quarter. And there you have it. How to go from applicant to Cobell Scholar. So in brief, going from left to right. We think about the process. Complete an application profile and eligibility form. OASIS will match applicants to eligible opportunities. Applicants will then will complete opportunity specific applications. For example, an undergraduate application. Application will also contain a reference portal. Throughout the process, applicants will then monitor their OASIS account and email. Application reviews will be conducted. Finalists will be selected and some will be placed on a wait list. Denials will be sent, and any appeals will be reviewed. Once finalists accept their finalist offer, they will complete their post acceptance, where finalists submit transcripts, course enrollments, and update any of their information. II will then work with finalist travel enrollment officers and financial aid officers for verification. Now, as a COBOL scholar, funds will be dispersed to institutions. Those with $0 awards will be considered honorable mention and spring 
and winter renewal will follow. How about some helpful tips and advice for applying? Here are a few we want to share. Apply early when the opportunity opens and don't wait for the deadline. For example, the undergraduate application is open for three and a half of months, which is quite a bit of time that you can use to work towards your application. Work on it a little bit at a time, weekly and daily, and plan to submit well advanced of the closing date. There are no exceptions to the application deadline date, so be sure to plan ahead. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't wait and ask early. The Cobell Scholarship team is here to assist you, so reach out. We look forward to hearing from you. Email is the fastest. We answer emails usually within the same day, depending on how busy it is. And here's a hint. Application deadline days certainly get busy. Give us a call and we can talk through issues and assist. Reach out on our social media with direct messages. There are also Anita Scholarship videos that walk you through each part of the application. Go to cobellscholar.org and select the Oasis Resource Videos button at the top of the page. Read and follow all instructions that are placed in each section of Oasis from profile to application. Be diligent to respond to emails like communications regarding missing documents. If emails receive no response after a long period of time, your scholarship status may be put at risk. Contact IAI if there are any changes you need to make. Update your profile often. Make additional comments if needed. Comment boxes are places in areas of Oasis to allow applicants to provide explanations that are helpful to IEI staff. For example, if a document is taking longer to upload, your additional comments can let us know the reason for the delay. Check statuses of applications and forms in Oasis and check your emails. Follow our social media and Cobell community. There are announcements and updates provided regularly about the Cobell Scholarship Program. Like, follow, and share, and stay in the loop. Also, stay tuned as we're looking for a texting option software to improve communications as well. Well, good tips and advice? Anita Scholarship has a bunch more, so again, check her out in the Oasis Research videos at cobellscholar.org. And before we conclude, I wanted to highlight the Cobell community. The Cobell community is a place of connecting, networking, sharing, and growing together. The community is for everyone. There are groups, events, learning opportunities, and so much more. The Cobell community features the ability to connect with other people, messaging with community users, a live feed of Cobell updates and news, discussion forums, Q&A sessions, and outreach events. There are also professional development opportunities with the monthly Cobell Skills Program and the Cobell Leadership Development Program. Awards and celebrations provide recognition to deserving community members. Cobell scholars, alumni, fellows, friends, and prospective applicants are welcome to join the community. Join today at community.cobellscholar.org or with the Cobell Scholars app. Available in your app store now. We look forward to seeing you in the community. This brings us to the conclusion of the presentation. I just want to thank you so much for joining us and spending this time learning more about the Cobell Scholarship Program. Engage with us and stay connected with our contact information provided. And connect with us on social media with the platforms provided to the left. We look forward to hearing from you soon and helping you with an application. As always, visit cobellscholar.org for the latest news and updates. Thank you again for joining us. This is Gabriel Bell signing off.